Start. Hello, students. Now we are uh, going to explain. So, one of the experiment in uh, advanced communication lab that is ring resonator. So, as you know, the aim of the experiment is to determine the resonance characteristic of microstrip ring resonator and also to uh, computation of dielectric constant of a substrate. So. So what we are supposed to find is, we are supposed to find the resonant frequency. Why that resonant frequency is required in this experiment is in order to find the dielectric constant of a substrate, substrate material. Here you can see this is a ring resonator, microstrip ring resonator device. Obviously the name microstrip because it operates with the use of the microwave signals. And this ring resonator is made up of the substrate material that is duroid material. So as in the data sheet they have given the dielectric constant of this duroid material is 3. Um, one three something right so now in a theoretical we in a practically we have to uh, obtain the resonant frequency of this particular uh, subtrait and the use of that resonant frequency we suppose we have to find the, the dielectric constant of this duroid material fine i am telling you again this this is a ring resonator so, that is why the name ring microstrip ring resonator means the microstrip ring resonator is formed by bending a strip conductor of a microstrip in the form of ring. You can see here. So this is the ring resonator. The conducting material is bent in the form of ring and below this ring resonator there is a substrate material which is made up of duroid and we have to find the dielectric constant of that duroid material. Right. Now. So why the uh, why there is a necessary to determine the dielectric constant means so dielectric measurement is important because it can provide the electric and magnetic characteristic of the material which proved useful in many research and development fields. So in order to uh, undergo any research of that particular material, so we have to know the dielectric constant. So that will be helpful in um, measuring its electrical characteristic of that particular material. Fine. Now you can see here. This epsilon R represents the dielectric means the relative permittivity in terms it is nothing but the dielectric constant of a material. So we know that here this is the equation given 2 into e effective permittivity into 1 plus 10 h by uh, 10 h plus w and whole of minus 1 by 2 and divide by these things. Here this h represents the height of this uh, subtrait this ring resonator and w represents the width of the subtrait material and here. Uh, so with these parameters we are the, the data of this height and width of this particular material we are going to give you so here they have mentioned the width of the duroid material is this means the ring resonator uh, which is uh, made up of duroid material is um, with the subtrait duroid material is given with a width of 1.836 millimeter and the height of the duroid material is 0.79 millimeter fine and we have for this ring the radius of this ring resonator is given that is 12 mm the 12 millimeter fine so the width and height of that material is given and the radius of this conducting material that is duroid material is 12 millimeter they have given here and in order to here h we know w we know the value but the unknown value here in order to find the dielectric constant that is epsilon r is effective permittivity how to find this effective permittivity here we have a equation that is n v naught divided by 2 pi r f r whole whole square fine this f r represents the resonant frequency and here v naught represents the speed of light and n represents the value means as we are using the air medium so the value of this n is 1 so this data these values you are supposed to know properly fine now if you get to know what is the resonant frequency of this particular ring resonator then we can easily find the effective permittivity and if we got the value if you know the effective uh, value of effective permittivity we can substitute that here in epsilon r uh, epsilon r and finally we can obtain the value of i mean the dielectric constant of this particular subtrait that is uh, the duroid material fine now we are conducting the experiment in order to find the resonant frequency that is epsilon r here r we know that v naught is speed of light that is 3 into 10 power 8 mit, uh, meter per second we know the value of n is 1 and the unknown parameter is epsilon r so we are going to find that it is that is we are going to find the resonant frequency so in order to get the value of the effective permittivity we are supposed to find the epsilon r fine in this equation 
so how to find this resonant frequency so we have the micro wave signal source and we have a power meter which we are uh, we are using as a output device so in order to use a power meter obviously we need to set this to the continuous wave mode and then initially uh, before connecting the ring resonator fine before connecting this ring resonator initially we have to um, find the initial uh, at what uh, frequency we are we are, the output uh, power we are getting at the power meter fine so keep the rf level to minimum it should be minimum and now set the frequency in the micro strip ring resonator to 2.2 gigahertz and note down the value in a power meter it is showing minus 14 here you can see in the tablet column we have a frequency in a one column and p1 represents before connecting the ring resonator whatever the value we'll get at each and every frequency that we supposed to know down here here the p2 column represents after connecting the ring resonator what will be the value fine now i set i'll keep the rf level to minimum and i'll set the initial frequency to 2.2 gigahertz and i'll just note down whatever the value it will show in the power meter now it is showing minus 14 so i'll take it here as so here in a, a this is a record given previous now they have got 4.36 now we are getting minus 14 just note down here in the p1 column the value we got is i'll write it again it is minus 14.27 dbm here it is in terms of dbm now vary the frequency to 2.3 here I am getting minus 13. I will just note down this. Then at 2.4. I am getting minus uh, 15. I will note down here. This is before connecting ring, ring resonator. We have not connected anything. I have just connected uh, the microwave signal source directly to the power meter. Fine. Now I will increase the frequency to 2.5. Now the uh, value it is showing here is minus 17. I will note down at 2.7 I am getting minus 17. Now again 2.6 it is minus 40. 2.7 again it is minus 40. And even for 2.8, I'll get minus 40. Fine. So this is a P1 column. Now, this is before connecting res ring resonator. The next is, in order to find the resonant frequency, I'm going to connect the ring resonator in between the microwave signal source. And then, so from the microwave signal source, I'm connecting this to ring resonator. Here is the ring resonator and from the ring resonator I am directly connecting this to power meter. Okay. Now from microwave signal source is uh, from the microwave signal source I have a connection to ring resonator and from the ring resonator I have connected to power meter. So no need to change make any changes again start the frequency from 2.2. Now, our goal is to find resonant frequency. What do you mean by resonant frequency? The particular frequency at which the system shows maximum deflection and that is nothing but resonant frequency. Now, I will note down here at 2.2 how much uh, the value I am getting here it is minus 40. I will note down this P2 column minus 40 and here at 2.3 again it is minus 40. 2.4 again it is showing minus 40 2.5 so at 2.4 we are getting minus 40 and if I increase the frequency to 2.5 again it is showing minus 40 but we before increasing it to 2.5 at 2.45 here we can see at 2.45 the reading in the parameter is showing as minus 31 so i'll note down here at 2.4 
at 2.45 gigahertz i'm getting minus 31 again at 2.5 again minus 40 minus 40 you can till 2.8 if i increase this again it is showing minus 40 students you know that the minus 40 means uh, in, in terms of watts the value of that uh, compared to minus 31 and minus 40 the power in minus 31 is more when compared to minus 40 fine so the resonant frequency as per the resonant frequency definition the particular frequency at which the system shows maximum deflection here minus 31 power is more when compared to minus 40 so at which frequency it is showing maximum deflection it is showing at 2.45 gigahertz hence this resonant frequency fr value is 2.45 so it is not exactly that you every time you may get 2.45 so uh, if you do with some other power meter or with um, and all you may get at 2.5 you may get otherwise you may get 2.4 so what you're supposed to know down is the at the power meter so whenever by uh, whenever you keep on increasing the frequency the particular frequency at which the power meter shows a maximum deflection maximum power means with minimum negative db value so that is nothing but resonant frequency fine so now at 2.45 gigahertz here it will come here at 2.45 gigahertz i am getting minus 31 dbm of power right i'll know and here at fr i suppose to uh, write the resonant frequency that is 2.45 gigahertz i'll note down that and if i do calculation by substituting all the values i'll get effective permittivity value fine now i substitute this effective permittivity in the epsilon or in the relative permittivity that is the dielectric constant equation i know the value of h i know the value of w i substitute the e effective value whatever I got in the previous um, expression here then if i substitute that we'll get epsilon obviously you will get um, around uh, three point something only for this value fine so this is about the ring resonator experiment so i'm telling again the particular frequency at which the system shows maximum deflection is nothing but resonant frequency so we have to know the fr value by noting down the only column and we have to find e effective and by substituting that e effective value here we are we have to find the dielectric constant that is epsilon r so this is the dielectric uh, value the electric constant value of a deroid material which is used as a substrate of this ring resonator so this is a golden conductor material so be below this there is a substrate which is made up of deroid material and that the electric constant of that deroid material is 3.13 um, value fine so this is the end of this experiment thank you